repatriated ten more white whale crew members. These fellow pioneers will rejoin our ranks as citizens of NLA, bringing with them skills and know-how that will bolster our ability to survive and indeed flourish here in our new home. This, of course, is only the latest success in our continuing efforts. Director and part General, of my initiative for the rescue and recovery of all our Two brothers days ago, and sisters. Man. I stand here truly humbled and grateful. From political aid to Director for General in just a few my weeks, policies, this will be the end of our next for a months. better in LA and a better tomorrow. Irina, Gwyn, nice work out there, ma'am. Introductions. Irina Akulov, Win Evans. This one of the survivors, Colonel? The survivor. I only found a single pod intact at Star Hall Basin. Wait, what? What happened to ten more crew members? Come on, seriously? Shosan was never one to let the truth get in the way of a good speech. Still, every last survivor counts. You can call me Irina. I'm with the Interceptors. Me too. Same division. You can call me Mr. Evans. Or just Gwyn. The three of us were in the Coalition Forces together. Specifically, the Special Operations Heavy Armor Training Unit. A.K.A. the Skeleton Crew. I was a colonel, and Irina a lieutenant. Gwyn was a more recent recruit. Of course, I keep telling them we don't need those old ranks anymore now that we're here. You're still colonel to me, ma'am. No reorg will ever change that. And that's not about chain of command, either. It's about respect. You've earned it. And the award for best ass kiss goes to... <clears throat> well, I'd remind you both the ma'ams aren't necessary if I thought you'd listen. All right, ma'am. We should be getting back to work. Until next time, Colonel. Right. We should be going, too. The administrative district isn't far. That's where you'll be calling home. For now, anyway.
She's 13, and I know, she looks young, and she is young, but trust me, she's one of our top talents. Most of the time, that is. Most of the time. Anyway, you guys heading back to the barracks? Yeah. Why do you ask? As long as you're here, why don't I take you on the transport? It's a great way to see the city. I'll give you the grand tour. That sounds like a great idea. All right, Doug, I think that'll be all for today. You can clean up here and dock the skell. What? Don't mind the exhaust. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Don't mind it? Wait, why am I cleaning up your mess in the first place? Lynn! Lynn! also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Well, by NLA standards, I anyway. on the best and only gardens on the planet. To your right, the residential district. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, plus a nice party and a cake. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, and want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill.
Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Linley Airlines. Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we'd better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I think I can answer that one. So, you must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi! Miss Ku. Chipper is always, I see. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. <laughs> 